let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Cycle Cruiser videos brought to you at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Hey guys, still working on the WR250R here. I'm pretty much done with everything. I just need to uh, wait for the custom wheels to be sent in a couple of weeks. Uh, but until then, I'm going to, I have one more mod that I want to do. And I'm going to open up the air box. Uh, I have a choice of doing the air flapper, uh, which some people say doesn't really make much of a difference. Uh, some people do the ultimate air box mod, uh, where they remove this and remove the guts, internal guts, and uh, also remove the flapper so that you get more airflow into the box. I don't want to alter this at all because I want, if I ever sell this bike, I want to be able to go back to stock. So I've come up with the idea. Uh, of removing the airbox door and modding it basically gutting out the center of this and then using a filter behind that so that way it catches any dirt uh, some people just take the airbox door off uh, I don't want to do that because I don't want dirt to enter uh, nor do I want if it rains for any rain to get in there uh, could cause problems with the engine okay, first step is to remove the screw here okay as you see here I have the no toil air filter in here by the way great filter okay now to remove the air box door there's these little clips here on the bottom of the pin I have to remove those two clips and then this pin will slide right out and I can take the door off And just go ahead and remove the pins. Okay, I would have to fuck something up. Damn it. Next, I cut out a hole using a hole saw or with my drill. And then I use a jigsaw to cut the rest of the material out. I ordered some air conditioner sponge type filter material that's reusable and washable for this modification but until I receive that in the mail for demonstration purposes only I'm going to do this modification using electrostatic polyester filter material. Now see how I just cut it cut it to size here. Okay now let's install it and by the way whenever I'm going to ride in the woods and go over streams or whatnot then I just put the stock door back on which is very simple. But if I'm riding mostly street or just doing maybe some uh, uh, riding out in the fields, light dirt or something like that, then obviously I'll use this instead. It's got a rubber seal here and it protrudes so that when you put this in, it actually creates a seal like that. Okay, screwed in tight. It's on nice and tight. Obviously, I'm going to have this bike dyno tuned um, so that the air fuel ratio is proper with this setup. Uh, and then I'm going to have, I'm going to get a switch where you can switch between two maps at on the fly. So that way I can have a map for the stock setup and a map for the cutout door. Okay, let's start her up. Just a recap, I will not be using that poly filter. I'll be using the air conditioner sponge filter that's reusable and washable. And every time I clean my air box filter, I'll clean the air box door filter. And anytime I'm gonna be riding through the woods through streams, I'll switch back to the stock door and of course switch maps as well. What's great about this mod, it allows you to go back to stock anytime. Just buy an extra stock door like I did and just switch them up and then switch maps. 
Be sure to stay tuned for my modded WR250R unveiling and first ride, and I'll be sure to let you know if it's much faster than stock. Links to all items mentioned in this video and my gear are located in the description and comment section of this video. If you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, CycleCruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Videos. All my videos are categorized in the various playlists. Hopefully you can find something that will inform you or entertain. Hey, subscribe to my All On Motorcycle channel. Hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video. And uh, I wish you guys all the best out there, man. Check out my other channel, Cycle Cruiser Moto Vlogs, where I discuss anything and everything, not just motorcycle shit.